The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in this unique dispensation of the church age, Ephesians 1, 13 through 14 quotes, the Holy Spirit of promise which is given as a pledge of our inheritance with a view to the redemption of God's own possession. That God, the Holy Spirit, establishes us in Christ, anoints us and seals us to the praise of his glory at the moment of salvation, the 40 works which he does by faith alone in Christ alone when we give our evolution. He also is the guarantor of our inheritance to be received in the day of the redemption of the body. The guarantee also involves the thought of the first fruits and the filling of that God, the Holy Spirit, the pledge or guarantee of the Spirit. The indwelling Spirit enables us to enjoy now a little of what will be the portion forever. He ministers Christ and opens the word to our souls. We worship by the Spirit. We pray in the Spirit and enjoy the fellowship of the Spirit. And the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Lord God, the Holy Spirit, says Romans 5.5. 5. We are told to be filled with the Spirit in Ephesians 5.18. We are controlled. God wants us to enter into His fullness and to be entirely under His control. We are never encouraged to seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit, not to be anointed by Him, not to be sealed with Him. These are blessed facts true for every believer at the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone. In one of the passages of Ezekiel, our Lord records these people they are doing deeds as the deeds which have been done in a woman of uncleanliness. Our Lord was very right and true to tell to us these deeds are being done as if they are been doing when we can look about the woman uncleanliness of a monthly realm. Exactly, dear brethren, when our Lord hates such kind of a deeds used metamorphically, then how could Lord God the Holy Spirit indwell in us in this church age believers, though that woman is going through such kind of an uncleanness process. That's the grace of our Lord, which has been given for us to identify and to learn that there is no difference between male and female. And that doesn't not that, that does not mean to say that you need to be having telling to the point, I have been baptized by the Spirit, I have been anointed by the Spirit, I have been sealed by the Spirit. Therefore, there is no difference between male and female. So I will become a <coughs> pastor over you and I will become a reverend and I will become a bishop, says the woman, which is very wrong and satanic to the core. The grace of our Lord is that though you have been there with such kind of a process of a tough time, Lord has given to you so that you can execute this protocol plan of God and show forth the maximum glorification of Christ. This protocol plan of God, and it has been unique between male and female, it is no distinguishing between the believers. But the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher is only for a male believer. But how shall we obey the command to be filled with the Spirit? Is the filling a blessing that comes once for all, or do we need to seek it again and again? We cannot be filled by claiming the filling or by praying for it. We are only filled with the Spirit as we yield to God in obedience to His Word by using rebound. And once filled, there is no guarantee that we will be stayed filled because we do sin again. Therefore, rebound is being used again in the privacy of our priesthood. A word-filled Christian is a Spirit-filled one. If a word-filled Christian is not been there, then he is not a Spirit-filled one. One who has merely mental knowledge of the Word is not Spirit-filled. It is only when the Word fills our heart and controls our ways. When God takes control of us, then we are being filled with the Spirit. The Comforter is now present, assures us, of the, assures us of the love of Lord. He is the blessed earnest of glory here, there above, because He has given a simple thing to explore the entire world and the entire world, so that the Word-filled Christian is a Spirit-filled Christian, and that should be a great quote to be noted for us, because without the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, it is no way possible for us to enjoy the great ministry of Lord God, the One. Therefore, dear brethren, you are being given this great work, this great work to be learned learning Bible doctrine. If you ignore to learn the word of the Lord, if you ignore to get in Bible doctrine as number one priority, if you ignore each and everything that has to be taken through the word alone itself, then you are no way to be controlled of the Spirit. Though you have been given Romans 5.5 5, to tell the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Our Lord has shed abroad across for us this great love, the great love to be learned by Bible doctrine. Therefore, we need to have desire for the truth and we need to have love for God, provided Lord God, the Holy Spirit controlling us. Therefore, remember, a word-filled Christian is a spirit-filled one. If you're not able to do it, Lord, help you.
Lord God, the Holy Spirit is the only method to teach us. Lord God, the Holy Spirit is our only guide to help us. Lord God, the Holy Spirit is the only divine atmosphere where we can learn this word. And when we are walking our ways in accord to the word of the Lord, then you are a believer, truly renovating to the praise of the glory of Jehovah by mortifying the, mortifying the deeds of your glory, of your body, and estimizing or glorifying the glory of Lord because you will learn to pursue to realize that your leprosy has been cleansed. The leprosy of this old sin nature which has been there in this church age as your daily walk in this pilgrimage tour. We have been here given the word to cleanse our leprosy and to glorify that great Lord for his great work. So dear brethren, which way you want to go you decide. This is the the last day of this year, 2015, which our Lord has graciously bestowed upon us. So we have recorded seven messages, and we shall continue. Come back and tomorrow, with the praise of His glory in His grace. Therefore, with our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In our ability, telling to Lord God the Father that we believe upon Christ. That is the moment itself we shall have this eternal life. This eternal life for you is for very simple believing and telling to Lord God the Father in the privacy of your soul that you believe upon His Son. You, as an unbeliever, express this volition in the privacy of your soul you are going to get this eternal life by faith alone in Christ alone no more works to be added so that you can jump around we have for a great work for the pastor teacher Kerusathon Lagan herald the word in season out of season because of the diameter of my witnesses wherewith you have been called the great diameter of my witnesses in dwelling trinity followed by bible in our hands and the diameter of my witnesses is the hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But we have thought the word as per his word or not is what quietly recorded as a gift given for us in the bona fide realm. It is not by man's responsibility that you need to preach. It is God's choice. You have been appointed to do that work. And that, that God's choice takes you through a thorough training process. A thorough training process, not to quit in the middle, but to be enduring that so that you, the God who has begun the good work in you will also finish it to it. But you need to endure it to the praise of his glory by the daily intake of Bible doctrine. Greater our negligence to know the simple truth. Greater will be a life that is not at all worthy to be counted in the sight of my Lord. And whereas for the believers, the great malady is to grow up in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine so that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It is of a great work that we have been not able to understand. What are we doing in this church age? Many of the people have come to think this and to think that. But we are here to do the learning process. A word filled Believer is a spirit-filled one. There cannot be anything greater code than this because without the knowledge of Bible doctrine, you cannot know what is the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And to know the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, you need to learn the word of the Lord. That is the only purpose of John 16, 12 and 13. Such the scriptures is the primary work of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, when he controls you. And you will be filled with the Spirit. And you will be controlling the word of the Lord. And you will be growing up. A word-filled man walking in the, in the paths of Jehovah he is a spirit-filled man. And he is a true son of God. We shall come back and continue in the next year, 1-1-2016. One, one, and I wish all a happy new year. It would be great enough to look, rather than Y-E-A-R, it would be E-A-R, circumcised. That is what happy new, hearing here, to be circumcised to the doctrine and to the circumcised heart, to pursue the doctrine to your soul. We shall continue tomorrow. Father, we're grateful for the privilege that the Lord is going to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us on these things and make it us a blessing and challenge our in Lord. We thank thee for the greatest pledge and assurance given for us by the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. But little you have given us to explore the Bible, and we need to imagine how much more you have been kept for us to be explored in the heaven. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.